Hi, we're Susan and Rich. This is the first week that Disney's allowed guests into the park without masks. So today, we're at Animal Kingdom. <laughs> After our first animal encounter of the day, we're moving along to the world of Avatar to see how the lines look and see if we can ride any of the attractions there. Well, the lines are extremely long today. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to get on any of the rides here in Avatar. Uh, both attractions are completely full and it's well over an hour wait for each one of them. I think we're just going to look around and check out the sights and maybe head over towards the Kilimanjaro Safari and see if we can't get on and take a look at the animals on the safari. The standby for Kilimanjaro Safaris is about 45 minutes. Uh, that looks like it's a long line, but it seems to be moving fairly quickly. So we may take our chances with this and see if we can't get a good ride in here. Well, the wait wasn't bad. It only took 25 minutes to get to the gate and we're just about to board the ride. Uh, I think this is going to be a terrific trip. So I think what I'll do now is just let our tour guide take over and tell us about what's going on on the safari today and what animals we're going to see. All right, we're about to board. Here we go. Hey, friends, welcome. Please on a in. Thank you very much. Here and here on May we say twin day, which means so let's go. The greater kudus or the tan antelopes. You'll get a really cool close-up view of one in a second here. Um, they're the one on the tallest antelope, standing about 55 inches at the shoulder. And tilted backward helps them move quickly through all the bushes and trees. Next to it there by the water. So that's a black rhinoceros. They weigh about 3,000 pounds. They have a very pointed prehensile upper lip that helps them to pull out all the bushes and trees in the forest when they're eating. There's only about 5,000 of them left in the entire habitat here. So on your left, I see saddle both storks. They get their name for a yellow saddle shape they have on their beak. They have about a nine feet wide wingspan, about the same width as that tan canopy on the trunk above your heads. Once they find their mate, they're mates for life. Go on and get during mating season. Their wingspan is about nine feet wide, same as the saddlebow stork. Sometimes you'll see them open up their mouth so wide their spine is sticking out. They do that to let some cold air in really fast to regulate their body temperature. They're one of the most successful predators in Africa, usually about 70 to 90% success rate on the hunt. They hunt in very large packs. They're very good at communicating with each other. They can run 39 miles per hour for about three miles without getting tired. So they have a lot of endurance. Um, they're one of my favorites because they're one of the most dangerous predators, but the noise they make is like a squeaky toy. Some wildebeests on your left and your right. Their name means wild beast. They're also known as news, spelled like G-N-U for a very low grunting sound that they make. Baby wildebeests are 16 feet in length, about the same length as giraffe or tall. They weigh about 500 pounds, could weigh much more than that though. They have a very strong, powerful light. It's about 2,000 pounds per square inch of power when they weigh down. From a standing position, they can jump six feet up off the ground, too. The males, he has all the plants on his head. He's digging his head into the bush. He does that on purpose. He makes a big flower crown. Apparently, that's how they attract the ladies. Spots are females. The one without any spots here on the right is a male. And Coley cattle have horns that grow about six feet in length, tip to tip. Their horns might look very heavy, but they only weigh about 15 to 20 pounds total. On the inside, their horns have a hollow honeycomb. On your left, you can spot the giraffes. There's a baby there if you look back all the way. Um, two babies on the reserve, both girls. Group of giraffes is called a tower because they're the tallest animals in the world. The tallest living giraffe in the world is about 18 feet tall and 5 inches. A baby giraffe is about 6 feet tall. They can stand and walk within an hour of being born. Just like their relative, the okapi, giraffes have a super long mandrels. Um, one of the baby mandrels is a month old. The other one is about two years old, so maybe if you saw the super little one, that would be the one that's about a month old. So mandrels are the largest monkeys. They have bright colors on their face and their backside. They get brighter as they get more excited. They also have pouches in their cheeks that store a stomach-sized amount of snacks to save for later. 
Oh, both the babies are in the trees there. Yeah, so the one that's in the Mandel's arms, that's the one that's about a month old. The other one that was hopping, there she is. She's the two-year-old. They're just like Rafiki in Swahili Rafiki mud, dirt and water to cool off, make a natural sunscreen, and to protect from the bugs. Their trunks have thousands of muscles. So sensitive at the tips, they can pick up a single blade of grass. Their trunks can hold about five gallons of water, and they drink about 42 gallons of water a day. Um, African elephants' ears are shaped like the continent of Africa. The amount of plastics and packaging that we use that helps out us as well. Um, so. Do things like reusable bags, reusable containers, package we learn about more. So there's the white rhinoceros. They weigh about 4,000 to 5,000 pounds. Rhinos can run about 35 miles per hour and gallop just like horses do with all four feet off the ground at the same time. So more than three times as fast as this truck can go, faster than any person could run. We saw the black rhino in the forest. They have a very pointed prehensile lip that helps them to pull out all the bushes and trees. <laughs> because they'll file their horns just like we file our nails. They'll file them until they're in a shape that they like. The one that's standing still, he's an adult male. If you heard about the uh, baby rhino at all, that's his dad. Oh. Baby's not out here at the moment, I don't think. But lions turn their eyes down to their mouth called cheetah tear marks. Helps to reflect the sun and protect their eyes. Yeah, the uh, baby rhino, his mom is the oldest rhino. Pretty crazy. There's the ostrich. They're all females on our reserve. Ostrich are the largest birds in the world. They're flightless, but they use their big wings to help direct themselves when running. They run about 40 miles per hour and take about 10 to 16 feet in a single stride with their super long legs above. Let's say a warthog. Warthogs have two pairs of tusks. They use their tusks along with their snout and their feet to burrow all those holes into the ground. When they go to sleep, they'll back into those holes with their razor sharp tusks facing outward. Very territorial. There's one right there in the hole. Looking right at us. Pumba means fool. I see a male and a female there on our left. The male lion, his mane, can weigh up to about 40 pounds. Very thick, heavy hair helps to keep him protected. During the day, humans and lions can see equally as well, and I think they see six times stronger than us, and their roar can be heard from about five miles away. Um, the male lion was a model for the face of Simba in the new Lion King movie. You can say that you've seen a celebrity. That wraps up our day here at Animal Kingdom. We had a great time and really enjoyed bringing the Kilimanjaro safaris to you. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. It sure was a lot of fun. Hope you'll come back again. Stay tuned to our channel. Check us out on other presentations. And please hit the button down and subscribe. 